Before doing the project setup, I will also provide this Figma link so you can also guys check this out and you can design this as well. But if you can see that on the video if you guys see that there, there was border was not visible. So it might be chance like you know due to the pixel you know while it's recording the screen the pixel get lost and that's why on the recorded video this border was not visible kind of on the app as well. Alright, now let's do the project setup. To do the project setup, we are going to use React Native CLI. You can use Expo as well if you are a beginner, uh, you can use React Native CLI. But you can do in both, uh, like it's up to you, whatever you want. So you can code on React Native CLI or Expo. Okay, so but I'm going to use React Native CLI. So to do the project setup, you have to write React Native. Once you search React Native, click on this Learn Once Write Anywhere. After that, click on get started. Once you click on get started, click on this can I use React Native without framework. And after that, click on this get started without a framework. Once you click on that, you have to copy this command npx react native CLI at the latest in it or some project. So I just copy this command and after that you have to open your folder directory, whatever place you want to create your project. So I can, I'm going to create my project inside the course, inside the course, I'm going to create this project. So what I have to do, I'm going to click on this show more option, click open in terminal. After that, you have to paste this command and you have to change the project name. So I'm going to make this e-commerce, e-commerce app UI, e-commerce app UI course. All right. And do hit enter after that it will install it it will say okay to proceed yes once you type yes it will install some certain packages so it's gonna took some minutes regarding to uh, your internet so before that while doing the installation a uh, lot of people ask me sir should i use react native cli for my project or expo because nowadays uh, the expo has been uh, that the cli has been removed from the react native and a lot of people are telling that we are uh, you know confused which to choose so if you are guys you know building a complex kind of uh, application where native components require a lot of like you need a lot of native component like camera gallery like you know a lot of native stuff you want more flexibility in your hand so at that point of time you can choose react native cli but if you don't want a lot of uh, flexibility in the native component so you can use expo all right so but this project which we are going to build this in this course so you can use expo as well not a big deal i will also tell you that how to do that as well but a lot of students uh, tells me that so we need project in react native cli that's why i primarily focusing on this react native cli okay so as you can see that our project has been created so we had first of all we had to copy this command npx react native community cli in it after that we had copied this uh, command and we had defined our project name after that we scroll down we it's download the template copying the template like it's initialized the git repository like basically the project has been set up after that you have to go inside this project to go inside the project what we have to try do we have to write cd and press the tab it will suggest the project name and do hit enter all right now after that you have to type code space dot to open the project in vs code okay so again i'm gonna type let me make it zoom for you guys and have to type code code space dot and hit enter so it will open this project in the vs code another way could be simple guys once the app get created you have to just drag and drop this project in the vs code all right now after that once you're done with this you have to open your terminal so i'm gonna open my terminal after that i'm gonna write npm start to start my project or start my app okay so we have to write npm start once you type the npm start it's gonna start the metro bundler after that you have to press the a to run this app on the android okay so as you can see that my emulator is already running for this which we had to see the app demonstration so what is telling that we got one error java io unchecked io expectation could not move temporary workspace okay so we got this error so how we can fix this error 
you have to copy this command you have to copy this error open your browser open the new tab paste this line of code once you paste this line of code open this stack overflow error after that what they are telling that okay so what you have to do guys you have to go inside the gradle wrapper dot property so you can see that your app android gradle gradle wrapper gradle properties okay so i'm gonna go inside android gradle okay and after that we have having a gradle wrapper dot properties file okay and here you can see that distribution url is 8.6 all zip so what we have to make we have to make 8.5 okay so i'm gonna make it 8.5 uh 8.5 all zip and after that let me try once so i'm gonna just type e and let's see so you can see that the app is going to install so for this error i had already created this video for this error could not move temporary workspace and a lot of people comment me as well sir we are getting this error while doing the project setup so this as the error is also solved but you can also use expo if you are getting a lot of errors in your project setup all the things but uh, i know i i did not get a lot of errors that's why i use react native cli as well but you can follow this course along with me and after this completion of course you will be mastered to build any kind of ui okay so this is the app it's like you know it started loading like you know installing the app and we have to wait some minutes because in the first time it will gonna took some time okay so we have to be patient while doing the react native project uh, project setup for the first time so let's wait for some seconds to install the app as you can see that our app has been successfully installed on the emulator and has been bundled so for the first time it took almost two to three minutes in my pc but it could be vary to your pc as well so as you can see that first of all it installed the app after the bundle and after that it started running the app on the emulator all right now after that if you see here we are having a file that is called tsx okay so primarily uh, this project is on the by default in typescript but you guys are beginner and and that this course is like focusing for the beginner friendly course so we are going to use javascript instead of our typescript so you guys can also tell me that should i use tsx or jsx like basically typescript or javascript but in this course i'm gonna use jsx but before that let me explain you guys what this boilerplate code looks like okay so whenever we create a project this is the code we get by default and this is the things we got on the ui all right so here you can see that it's called view some content which is unnecessary for us basically this is the normal uh, one component app component so we are going to get rid of this whole code so i'm gonna select all this course and press the backspace to delete the all the course now this app is empty now you can see that we are getting error because we are not exporting this app component okay and so we can like write a component like this const uh, const uh, const app is equal to an arrow function like this okay and we're gonna have a return and inside that we're gonna import the view from the react native so i just import the view from the react native as well and after that we're gonna have a text from the react native i am from app okay but we are not exporting this app so we have to also export default app like this okay now you can see that we are getting a text on this app all right but you know every time you have to create a component you have to write this function and again and again which is not good practice all right so we are going to use some extension that extension name is called es7 snippet extension es7 react redux redux graphql reactive snippet so how can i help this uh, syntax basically first of all you have to install this uh you know this extension once you install this extension what you have to do you have to remove this whole code okay and you have to type r r stand for react and stand for native react native functional f stand for functional export okay so as you can see that it created a react native functional export component all right but if you want a react native by default export as well like react native functional export 
with style sheet so it will just create a component along with the style sheet like this all right so this is the way we can build the component quickly and easy manner this is another uh, extension which i use that is called auto import so you can use also this extension it make uh, our life easier to import the component from the uh, packages or api all right now after that as you can see that here we are having a tsx so i'm gonna make it jsx for now so let's use the jsx so we have to rename with the jsx okay uh, and i you know last time one student asked me sir that uh, why did sometimes it is a red like as you can see that this is the error in the red coming why how we can fix this up so this is the error this is not error this is just a warning so we are having a prettier we are using a prettier so basically it's telling that we have to use comma like this so currently it's looking like this and we have to click on this fix this prettier problem so basically what was there there was a space beside this uh, bracket and prettier doesn't allow that why so this is the you can ignore that that's not any big deal all right now after that if you see on the figma we have to design this two screen okay so first of all we have to we want two pages right so what we have to do for the two pages we have to do the setup of of react uh, react native navigation all right so to the to do the setup uh, so we are going to do the setup of react native uh, react native navigation 